Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be sharing a full face of nothing new. And I believe this video topic was started by Ali Glines. So I will link her below. I've seen several other people do these kinds of videos as well. I'm only going to use products that are not new to my collection. So I pretty much went through my collection and picked out things that I know that I've had the longest or just things that I know I've had for a while that I am wanting to revisit. And yeah, I'm really excited to get started, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so I am going to start by putting on a little face primer. I have the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, and I really like this primer. I've had it for almost a year now, and I really don't wear it all that often. I feel like mostly because I'm usually wearing a glowy sunscreen, which I am today, actually. I'm wearing the Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen. I mean never really have enough glow, right? So this primer is great because it's really a cross between a hydrating primer and an illuminating primer. So you're, it's not just giving you like an illuminated look, but it's also actually moisturizing your skin really nicely. So I do really enjoy it. I just forget to wear it a lot. For foundation, I want to mix two CoverGirl foundations that I've had. I've, bo I've had both of these for a while. I've had this one the longest, this is the True Blend foundation, just their original True Blend. And this is their Vitalist Healthy Elixir, which I think is actually being discontinued. I got it for like three bucks several months ago, so I've had both of these for a while. The Healthy Elixir is, the shade I have is Classic Ivory. It's a tad dark for me, and then the True Blend I have in L1 Ivory, and this is a tad light, so I'm just gonna mix the two together. From what I've gathered, this Healthy Elixir foundation just runs pretty dark, but I do really like it the, the several times that I've worn it. This may still be a little dark, I don't know, that works. I did kind of an equal pump of both. I did just get a haircut yesterday, just a basic trim, nothing too different, but um, I did have her put some layers in because before I didn't really have a lot of layers and I feel like it was just making my hair, it wasn't doing any favors for my hair because I have pretty fine hair and when it was all one length it was all just like weighing itself down so I feel like the layers are really helping to make it a little more bouncy. It's so nice to have a fresh haircut, I was really needing one and I'd been putting it off for a while. I also bought from the salon a purple shampoo. I've never colored my hair, this is my natural hair color. But I was asking her, even though I've never colored my hair before, if I could still use a purple shampoo because I've been thinking about trying one because I do kind of want to tone down the natural brassiness of my hair just a touch. And she told me that, that it was definitely worth trying and that it, it would certainly work for my hair even though I've never dyed it or colored it. So anyway, I bought one. The salon I go to, I think they use all cruelty-free products. The purple shampoo that I got is from AG Hair. I've never tried anything from that brand, but I know that they are Logical, Logical Harmony certified. and So I went ahead and bought it. It was like 20 bucks, but I'm excited to try it. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. I really like the way that looks over, especially over that dewy base, but I feel like both of those foundations are just really nice and skin-like, and I don't think either one is like an overly dewy foundation on its own, but they kind of just let your skin's natural radiance shine through, and that is really the kind of foundation that I like. I have to say, I don't love this True Blend on its own. I feel like sometimes I get these weird like white dots with it, and I know I've heard other people have that same experience with this foundation or just other Co CoverGirl foundations, I don't know, but the two together so far, at least right now, are working for me. And then the concealer I want to use is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I have it in snow. Haven't used it in a while. I like this concealer. It's not as full coverage as some, but I still like it. I still think it's high coverage and it it looks a little bit more skin-like and natural than the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, which I do think is more coverage. This one just isn't as heavy duty as that one. Really liking just the this base. It looks very healthy and hydrated and smooth. I've got to give some credit to the First Aid Beauty Primer. Also just that sunscreen that I have underneath is great at just giving you like a glow. It's not overly greasy. Before I do any setting powder, the highlighter I want to use is this e.l.f. Liquid Illuminator, I think is what it's called. It doesn't have a name on it. I have it in the shade, oh no, just says illuminating as the shade. But this is a liquid highlight and it is very glowy. I don't think you would like this if you're not usually into liquid highlighters because it's very 
has almost a greasy feeling to it, which I don't mind, but I'm sure it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea. But I mean, look at that beautiful glow. Oh my gosh, yes. yes. Just tap a tiny bit on my nose. I don't wanna to put too much on because I can just get to be too much. And I always like to take it up kind of to the brow bone as well, or at least like do a little bit of a C shape here. I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. It's not new to me, but it is something I use almost every day. For face powder, the oldest face powder I own is this Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. And I've kind of abandoned it recently because I got because I got a few new powders that I was really interested in trying, so I've kind of just neglected this one for the past couple months, but it's still a good powder. I'm just gonna do a light dusting because it can look very powdery, very mattifying. The bronzer I'm gonna use is one of my favorites, but it is one that I haven't used in a while and it's certainly not new to me. It's the one in this e.l.f. Natural Glow Face Palette, I think is what it's called, and I've already panned the highlighter in here, but I really like this bronzer. It's just very, it's matte. It's a nice neutral tone. I've already repressed this one. And then the blush I wanna use actually is not from this palette. I wanna use my CoverGirl Cheekers blush in Natural Twinkle. This one I've also had for almost a year. I can't believe it's been almost a year since CoverGirl went cruelty-free. This is a blush that is not my favorite. It's a little sheer, I guess, but it is still really pretty. I, I would think of it as kind of a winter color or fall, just a light plum. And I do like it. I just, you know, yeah, actually, I like that. Can't complain about that. Maybe I've harped on it unfairly. <laughs> okay, wait. I always go for peachy blushes or like light pink blushes, but... Oh, wow, I like that. Okay, I need to pull this out more often. I just kind of discounted it for so long because it is kind of sheer, like you do have to kind of dig your brush in there, but for such an inexpensive blush, I mean, that is a beautiful color. Um. And I don't necessarily mind a blush not being overly pigmented because I have fair skin anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't have to be a bad thing. So I'm going to move on to my eyes, and I'm going to start by just priming at least the crease and the outside of my eyelids with the Ulta Matte Eye Primer in Nude. This is just my current primer. But I'm also going to use some of the NYX Glitter Glue on the inner portion of my lid because I am going to be using the Stila Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. I promised you guys at the beginning of this month that you would see me wearing this at some point this month and I'm going to use it today. Um, I don't think I've ever used this and I've had it for almost a year. So I think I bought it like last year in the Sephora sale in the, in the fall and I think I got it in November. So it's about time to use it. <laughs> At least if I have used it, I can't remember if I have, so it's not a good sign. <laughs> so I'm going to dot a little bit of the NYX Glitter Glue on the inner part of my lid. just feel like it's a good thing to use whenever I do use a Stila Glitter or any kind of glittery eyeshadow. Just on the inner half. I don't want it everywhere. I just want it to be there for the, for the glitter to adhere to. While I let that set a little bit, I'm going to fill in my brows. With the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, I have it in the shade Soft Blonde. And of the two brow pencils I own, this is the least new one to my collection. And in fact, this is the second or third one of these that I've repurchased. I think the second one. And I really like it. It's probably my favorite brow pencil just because the shade is so perfect for me. That's really what it comes down to for me is just the right shade. Because I don't, I don't think it's hard for brands to get these ultra fine brow pencils right, formula-wise. For me, it's really just about the right shade at this point. It's sunny and raining at the same time right now. Yeah, I'm really happy that I used that CoverGirl blush because I kept it because I like the color and it's a unique color to my collection, but I kind of wrote it off for a while because I just, I don't know, for some reason I just didn't think it was a good blush. Another thing I don't like that gets on my nerves is the packaging. I just don't like how narrow the pan is, but 
that's just kind of a pet peeve. If the product is good, I can look past that. And the palette that I wanted to pull out is the Subculture palette from Anastasia. I've been really wanting to use this recently because it's just such a gorgeous palette for fall. And I was, at first I was like, because I knew I wanted to use both of these, the Stila Glitter and Subculture palette, and at first I was looking, thinking, hmm, I wonder if this is really going to go with this, but I really do think that I can do something really pretty with both. So I'm going to start by blending Dawn in the crease. That's usually my like starter color whenever I use this palette because it's just such a perfect transition color for me. Then I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller crease brush with the shade Mercury, which is a very cool medium brown, almost gray. Then I want to take All Star, the maroon color in here, and start to build that up on the outer, like, third of my lid in the outer corner. Before I apply the glitter, I want to just blend this some more. I didn't add any shadow to this brush, I'm just going back in and blending. Time to go in with the Stila glitter, and I'm just going to tap some on to the inner half of my lid. Try not to get it up too high. Then I'm just going to tap kind of around the edges with my finger. I'm just going to use the Milani powder to highlight my brow bone and just blend out the upper part. On the lower lash line, I'm going to smudge Mercury and Rowdy together, the taupe and then this deep plum. Before I do any liquid liner or mascara, I'm going to set with the Dewy Finish Setting Spray from NYX. It has a nice mister. I'm gonna do a small wing with my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Then I'm gonna finish off the eyes with the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. I will say that NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray makes my face feel kind of tight. Even though it does give a dewy finish, I also feel like it kind of sucks in your makeup and probably does help with the wear time a little bit, but at the same time it almost feels like I have hairspray on my face. <laughs> For my lips, I want to do a very plummy, deep lip, and I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in Nourish Nourishing Plum. This is in my Lipstick Roulette for October, and then I'm also going to use the Jordana Easy Liner in Plush Plum as my liner just to help with the precision. I think this will go really nicely with the eye look, also gives me a chance to wear this lip that I definitely don't wear very often. I have to say I have a hard time applying this without it looking patchy. Kind of had to go over it a few times, so that's pretty intense. But I have to say I really like it. I like the way that the lip goes with the eye look and I really like the way that eye look turned out. I don't use the shade Mercury very often just because it's so cool and I don't often gravitate towards cool tones. Although I really have been more into cool tones lately and I really like the way that that looks in my crease. Um, and then that All Star shade is really pretty too. I feel like it just gave the look such a nice fall vibe. Honestly, I'm really loving this entire look. I think that the thing that surprised me most was the CoverGirl blush in Natural Twinkle. I feel like this was like almost the star of the show and it coordinates so nicely with the eye and the lip too. Just really liking this plummy vibe today. So this is a blush that I'm going to need to be pulling out a lot more often in the fall and winter. I think it's such a gorgeous fall and winter shade. Why, why have I been sleeping on this for so long? <laughs> I think when I did my video talking about my five best and five worst from the top five brands that I own, or the, the brands that I own the most from in my collection, CoverGirl was one of them, and this was my least favorite item that I own from ColourPop, but I might have to change my mind about that because at least today I'm really liking this color. Wow, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this full face of nothing new. Also, really big fan of the way those foundations are looking on my skin too. There really wasn't a single thing today that I didn't 
really enjoy. Let me know if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see more of these on my channel. This video actually was requested uh, in, a, in a recent video and um, that comment got a lot of thumbs up so that I took that to mean you guys wanted to see this kind of video. That person I think requested full face of nothing new and also more throwback palette videos and I'm definitely working on doing more of those. I mean today was definitely a throwback palette but I also want to start doing a lot more palette bingos on my channel because those are just really fun. I just did my first one on the elf earth and ocean palette but I'm planning to do a lot more in the future so Stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!